Welcome to yoga with amethyst. I know that you're gonna love this for sure. Time to relax and just let go. Breathe in, then get into a yoga pose. A hey, elevation, let's get involved. Plank and mountain, sit down with dog. We do it all. Nah, I came front. If you're ready to learn, this is what you want. A hey, welcome to yoga with amethyst. Uh, come on. A hey, welcome to yoga with amethyst. a short and sweet yoga flow class. So we're going to start off actually standing at the top of our mat. And you can spread the toes out onto your mat, arms by your sides, close your eyes and just take a couple deep breaths. Standing nice and tall, lengthening through the crown of the head. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine, plant the palms, step or hop back into your plank. Lowering from knees or toes, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest, up dog or cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here. Spread the fingers, spread the toes. And pressing down through the heels. Look to the top of your mat, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top. Inhale, flat back, lengthen your spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up to the sky, exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Plant the palms, step or hop back, plank. Lowering from knees or toes, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest, top dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot up between your hands, lower your back knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Find your lunge, square your hips off to the front of your mat. And then we'll move into eagle arms. So the right arm's gonna come underneath the left. If you can't reach the palms, you could always hold on to opposite shoulders. And then we're lifting the elbows up and pushing the hands away from the head. Creating space between the shoulder blades. And then release, plant the palms, stepping back into your plank, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step your left foot up between your hands, lower your back knee. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, soften the shoulders, find your lunge. And then left arm is going to come underneath the right, coming into those eagle arms. Creating space between the shoulder blades, lift the elbows off the chest. the hands, sit back into your plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, and exhale, downward dog. Look to the top of your mat, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top. Inhale, flat back, lengthen your spine, exhale, fold. Then wind in your stance and just right dog here. Bend the knees, maybe nod or shake your head or sway your body. Completely letting go. And breathing lots of space into the back body. And then release your arms, a little bend to your knees, slowly roll your spine up. Come all the way up to standing, rolling shoulders back at the top. Heel toe the feet back in, and we'll flow it out. Inhale, reach the arms, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, plant the palms, step or hop back, plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, and exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot up between your hands, keep your back knee lifted, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, get deep into your lunge. Square those hips off to the front of the room, or the front of your mat. 
And then bring your hands to your heart center and twist to the right, left elbow to the outside of the knee, pressing palms into one another, rolling top shoulder back. If you want to open up the arms here, you can. If you need to modify, you can always drop that back knee down. Keep the back leg strong. Draw the belly button in on your exhalations. And then let's exhale, unwind the spine. Bring the hands to the ground. Left leg extends back. You're gonna drop your left hip so it's level with your right. Put, tend to your left fingertips underneath your shoulder, and then right hand can come to the low back or reach up towards the ceiling. Kicking out through that back heel. One more breath. And then bring the hand down. Step back into your plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step the left foot up between your hands. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Find your lunge. And then hands to heart center. We'll exhale and twist to the left. Right elbow to the outside of the knee. Pressing palms into one another. Roll that top shoulder back. Breathe.
Interlace your fingers behind your back or just reach your arms alongside your body. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the legs. Pressing down through the hips. Back of the neck is long. One more breath, maybe lift higher as you inhale. And then exhale, release. Bring your left cheek to your mat, arms by your sides, big toes touch, heels flop out. Breathe space into the low back. And then you can either repeat that same pose again or move into Dhanurasana, grabbing onto the feet or the ankles, looking forwards, kicking the feet into the hands. Keep breathing. Try not to let those knees go out too wide. One more breath, maybe kicking a little higher as you inhale. And exhale, release, right cheek to your mat, arms by your sides. Big toes touch, heels flop out, or you can bend the knees and the windshield wiper your feet from side to side. And then extend the legs back out. Push yourself up to downward facing dog. Making your way to seated. We'll extend the left leg forward, right foot comes to the left inner thigh. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, folding forward. Keeping the legs active, pushing out through both of your heels. Inhale, come up, switching sides. Inhale, reach the arms, and exhale, fold. And inhale, come up. Come into a boat pose. Hands behind the knees, lift the feet up. You can keep the hands here for support or reach the arms along side the legs. Maybe start to straighten your legs. And then we're slowly going to lower to our backs for five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down, setting up for a little bridge. Soles of the feet onto the mat, heels close to the glutes. Arms alongside your body, press into the feet, lift those hips up. Staying here, or maybe interlacing your fingers under your back and tucking your shoulders under you one at a time. Staying there, or maybe bending the elbows and bringing the hands underneath the hips. Keep pressing into the feet. Make sure the knees don't go out wide. And then slowly release the hips back down. Extend your left leg straight up onto your mat. Left hand to your right knee. Right arm extends to the right. And then exhale as you guide your knee over to the left, coming into a twist. Maybe gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Bring your hips to center and switch. Extend the right leg. Guide your knee over to the right. Gazing over left shoulder. back to center. Hips to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead to your knees and squeeze yourself into a little ball. Resetting your spine. And then rest your head down. Extend the arms and legs out coming into Shavasana. 
and I'll call you back soon.